Hi, today we are going to be drawing a labradoodle on the beach. So you will need paper, a pencil, a black marker, and either crayons or colored pencils. Okay, let's get started. Today we are going to be drawing a labradoodle playing on the beach. And all you will need is paper, crayons, or colored pencils, a pencil, a black marker, and an eraser. And that's it. I'm going to be doing most of the drawing in a black marker so that you can see what I'm drawing. If I do it in pencil, it's really hard for you to see it. So I'm going to start out doing it all in a black marker. And remember, you need to ask permission if you're using a Sharpie or another type of black marker because these stain and it might not be okay. So ask any adult in your house if it's okay for you to use a black marker, okay? So this is a Labradoodle playing on the beach and he's really fun to draw and he's really fun to color. And it could be a boy dog or a girl dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say he's a boy dog, so I'll be referring to him as him. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be drawing his jaw and his face. So it's a series of little squiggle lines and all you do is you do some squiggly lines like this. You know, Labradoodles have pretty curly hair. So this is sort of representing his curly hair. Okay, so that's, that is gonna be the beginning of his face. And then we want to do a little another squiggly line down here like that. That's the bottom of his mouth. And then we're going to go ahead and draw the top of his head and his ears. So let's just start right about here. Just a little bit above where we started the original squiggles. And we're just going to go ahead and do some more of these curly little squiggly lines like this. And then maybe come up a little bit where his ears are and then come back and go up like that. And then we'll come back to this line that we started and come on down and do some little squiggly lines like we did and kind of go up a little bit for his ear and then come back to his jaw. And then we're gonna put some little eyebrows on him. So you wanna just do some little eyebrows like that and then maybe one over here. And let's go ahead and add his eyes. And he's gonna have two big eyes like this. And a nice thing to do is to add a light reflection in his eyes. So inside those two eyes, draw a smaller little circle like that. And it can be off to the side, it could be off to the bottom, it could be right in the middle. And then with your marker or your pencil right now, go ahead and color that in, but don't color in the little white circle that you drew. And see how you now have two little white reflections in his eye? Okay, now let's draw his nose. His nose is gonna be way down at the bottom of his face right here, and we're gonna be drawing an oval like that. And let's do the same thing. Let's make another little light reflection with another little oval in his nose and then color around that second oval all the way around. And if you're using a pencil to start out with, you can either color it in or you can wait until you go back with your marker or colored or crayons. Okay, now we're gonna be drawing his body. And his body is similar to these little squiggles you're just going to be coming just right to the left of his nose and his jaw area and just come on straight down and just do a slanted line like that. And over here, do the same thing, a slanted line that's squiggly. And that's his body. And we're going to do some arms. You can do little squiggly lines like that. And one over here. And these are his curly arms. And this is going to be his belly right here. So make a little line down, another one like that, okay? Now, this little guy is playing on the beach, so we want to draw a horizon line for the ocean. And you want to go ahead and draw, you can sort of draw some more squiggly lines, maybe not as squiggly as his fur, 
but straight across and make sure to go behind his face. And that's where the ocean is, this right here, and that's the horizon line. And then the sand, we can do the same thing. We'll draw sort of squiggly lines across that are gonna represent the sand. So this right here is water and this is sand. And then if you wanna put a sun in, so the sun is getting ready to go down at the beach or it's up high, you could put a sun here, you could put a sun here, you could put a sun really close to the horizon like it's getting ready to set. I'm gonna go ahead and just put one up here. You just draw a circle. Okay, and that is that. That is our Labradoodle playing on the beach. Now the best thing to do is to color this and that's where all the fun comes in. So you now have your own coloring page with a Labradoodle at the beach. And I'll show you one that I colored right here. So I, I started out back in the horizon with the blue and I did darker blues farther away and it, the water got lighter as the water got closer to the shore. And then I painted the sand, colored the sand, a sandy um, color with the crayons. And then I did the sky, a sky blue, and I did it lighter as I came down to the horizon and then I just left it white right at the horizon. Of course, I colored the sun yellow and I put some of the yellow into the sky. And when I painted his body, I just did a whole bunch of different colored gold and I even did some curly, curly swirlies with um, brown colors. And he's done and he's just waiting to play on the beach with you. Okay, so I hope you had fun doing this. Thank you.